you so much uh, to invite me to be with you in this um, very interesting uh, discussion about our, our future and about the subject re regarding the human security and how uh, you know all of us could uh, look about uh, the future, uh, our common future, we, because I think that the earth is for all and there is uh, no border uh, between uh, between us. Uh, just to present myself, uh, I'm uh, Shadin Diab. Uh, I have a um, chemical engineer. I work at, uh, in, from uh, Paris and um, I have a PhD in environmental sciences. Um, I work about these issues related to the using a green innovation sense um, in France, in Paris, to depollute a very um, a, a industrial site in the north of France, uh, Metal Europe, in uh, 2000. Uh, and uh, it was, an, um, you know, uh, in the beginning that is we speak how we can use innovation and uh, to interact with with uh, nature. Um, in order to say that um, I, I can hear this discussion uh, because also me, I'm a scientific and uh, I have this the opportunity to discuss with politics uh, during the COP, uh, from a COP to COP. I can read all these uh, some questions from uh, participants and say, yes, uh, no, one, no one is listening. Uh, what happened? We have the solution. Yes, today we have all solution, but the problem is is, uh, is is now we can work alone, the politic or the scientist or the NGO or the activist, uh, how things could do. For that, in 2016, I launched something which is called a green education program to go to everywhere where are the new generation children to speak with them uh, about the issue related to the aware to raise the awareness about the green uh, education and how we can interact with environmental policy uh, with the you know uh, in the media uh, in the conference uh, in uh, in order also to introduce uh, these uh, green innovation to to people um what i i can see here uh that's mean, uh, I think that is our new common challenge is the climate change. Uh, it is also a safety problem. It is also a human, a human security uh, for the future. Uh, we can see uh, that today why we do this choice. Uh, you know, some I, I read some observations and questions that is uh, for uh, for you for for you, and they say the people that how we make the decision, how politics make the decision. It is for the economy and also me as a like and a citizen from Europe or citizen from the southern country. Is I do this decision because it is like an inhabitant or the logic, or like an. Uh, just a tradition. I just follow all the people. When I want to to, to speak about climate change now in this geopolitical uh, situation in Europe or in the southern country, where this is, I'm really interested in that. And uh, it is my priority today, how the food security could be for this future generation that we are uh, suffering, uh, you know, uh, from a lot of pressure and uh, prices, inflation and energy crisis. So we could not, uh, they are the same subject. We could not speak about science. And in the same time, we could not speak that because, because this solution, they are done for human being. They are done to be use it for them. The question is, is that is, is that if we can say that is the climate crisis or today is for all people is really a reality is the same vision from the north to the south and is the region is the reason uh, is is like a consequence of a human action uh, we speak a lot from a long time and about to the energy transition uh, in europe in all the world to use another uh, way to produce energy another way to consume uh, but as we are today in 2024 the reality that the number of uh, energy dependence dependency is really high we facing now in europe this problem related to energy we facing in europe now also in uh, in, in the world the problem related to food security so also we have solution and you are prestigious uh, scientific give this solution why 
we are here today to discuss again and again about a solution. And what is really the human uh, uh, humanity today for security? Uh, because we announced that climate refugees would, would buy about 1, 2 billion by 2025. Yes, this is a big, big problem. This is a big challenge for the displacement of population. We can see in the screen population come North Africa, from Sub-Saharan Africa, South Asia, and also from East Asia and Central Asia. This is a huge challenge that is we can we are facing for the future. So the the problem that is uh, uh, today and uh, for uh, the the future that is we uh, we are uh, if there if there is in a possibility to there is a problem of to nature and uh, to to treat with the to treat with the with the earth is really the earth is like an arm if there is a physic of healing what that mean that mean for for me as a scientist every uh, action have an, an uh, uh, interaction and there is a consequence we speak about all these uh, issues related to the na nature is as is really act because of our action and about our any consequence about what we we are treating with the uh, uh, depletion of resources with uh, energy uh, consumed consuming with this all sea co uh, conflict so uh, the problem that the, of uh, earth is uh, what is happening climate change is a consequence of our uh, action so the issue today, uh, the issue today that means if we are look about uh, the nature uh, as it's act about our uh, reaction, uh, it is also give us a solution. You present the solution uh, 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 scientific. Uh, we are say that we have a nature-based solution and frugal innovation we can inspire from nature to uh, to cool the, the climate uh, by forestation, by also plantation, uh, all of that. And the issue today, if we are uh, working uh, in that, uh, because the uh, earth also is express uh, this big tension uh, and uh, show us uh, that the uh, cycle of carbon dioxide, if it will continue to this the life on the earth will be not be possible this is we we can see that the uh, the the earth is uh, act in uh, in real way to uh, to our uh, to our actions but if the solution they are from the nature so what what happened why until now we could not resolve this uh, challenge I think that uh, if we are uh, looking about uh, the studies about a nature-based solution in PS and the climate change, and I can consider that all these solution we uh, we present during uh, uh, during this debate is about it is something could provide more than thirty percent and resolve uh, mitigation needed, but. Uh, what is the problem? Why we are not uh, work on it? Uh, I think there is we have a, a lot uh, of challenge. I don't want to enter in the details uh, of this challenge. Just to to over uh, uh, overview some uh, some of that. Um, if you look about what happened in southern country, like in uh, you know in in Egypt, uh, by example, we have been in a very uh, known architect who called Hassan Fathi, and we call him. Uh, the earth, earth architect. 50 years ago, 50 years ago in Egypt, he, uh, you know, uh, speak about how we can build and maximize a passive cooling natural ventilation just by building and to adapt to the a desert uh, context uh, and to inspire from the local uh, environment in order to build uh, in another way and to design the city in another way. 
Another experience coming also uh, from uh, Mexico, that is from uh, this city with this uh, high uh, uh, high uh, uh, problem related to thousands of tons of toxic gases and also thousands of tons of heavy metals, we can generate another way to adapt the city and to build a green wall um the, the, there was a, like an, a, an experience with the C mexico uh, city via verde project the problem it was uh, facing that is to the cost uh, of construction with a negligible evidence to show how the positive impact uh, we can go also to to Indonesia and the problem related to the inundation. We can we face it in another a lot of city. I have the chance to discuss with the mayor of Indonesia uh, of uh, uh, Subraya, Indonesia city, and she told me she has a you know she began to uh, uh, work uh, in order in, in local policy and to adapt another uh, way for uh, to, dr to the uh, drainage channel and uh, to work about the system of urban planification. But it was expensive. Uh, he, she faces a lot of problem related to local policy, uh, to the corruption, and also it was not profitable. So I think that is we we have the solution. We have all the solution. We you know from nature based solution could as I can I repeat, it is could resolve thirty percent of problem related to the climate mitigation. But why we are stay here today? I we have a facing a lot of social, economical, environmental challenges. We have a geopolitical problem conflict. Uh, we need also to uh, to be supported to to create like an, a, a policy locally. Uh, if you can look about uh, and also economically, because we need investment and we need also money. And the problem is, is today is, is uh, if we can look about the carbon credit market, uh, and this is a problem uh, because for the southern country today we are facing for that because it's we need more transparency, uh, we need more technical advancement in this market and uh, the the value of money also because there is a problem of value of money which is uh, uh, really devaluation of local uh, local market because it if uh, for the price of uh, carbon so i think this is today uh, we also not to resolve a scientific problem we relate it to the social and economical problem related to application to this technology. And the target building support a network of locally uh, also to, to that. Yes, I close with this photo uh, from, uh, it is a, a refugees camp in the north of France. Uh, he wrote, if we, you know, follow your dream, uh, this speech done by Ali, and they say, if we not really uh, resolve this, this uh, challenge today for climate change, we will maybe stay for future uh, generation and stay in this type of building. Thank you so much to hear me.